Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, welcome to Ratu Tarot and uh, in this whole video we are going to look into Taurus this week or Taurus week for December 7th to December 13th 2020 and uh, in case you are interested in a personal reading you can go to my website which a link you are going to find it in the description down below and as well um, I'm offering tarot classes if you are interested in learning tarot you can pretty much purchase an online tarot class from the website as well. So with that being said, let's move to the uh, to the reading straight away of the week and uh, let me cut. And the first card for you Taurus for the week, that is going to be the Two of Cups. Uh, moving next, we do have the Seven of Wands, uh, the Eight, the, oh my God, the Nine of Wands. So <clears throat> Two of Cups, it is a topic, Nine of Wands, these are the energies which are feeding the topic. Uh, moving next, we do have uh, the uh, challenges that you need to overcome and that, that kind of speaks for such an internal struggle um, that you're going to have throughout the week. Um, yeah, we're going we're gonna to dive deep into it. So, fourth one, this is, this is the gifts and the blessings that you get to enjoy and we do have the sun followed by the impression of the people that are going to be around you. That will be the two of wands. Uh, next one is the obstacles that you will have to overcome. Again, it's, it's different from the challenges. Challenges is something that improves you. This, this thing here, it holds you back if you give yourself to it. Okay, that is the three of swords. Uh, moving next, it is the positive aspects uh, throughout the month which are going to help you move forward. That will be the five of wands. And the last one we have, that is the uh, Wheel of Fortune and that card, it is the Guidance. Wow. Wow. So, the reading branches, in case... Uh, it relates to your career or to your relationship. It branches straight from the beginning, okay? It's, it simply speaks different things. So it's going to be either a long one or I just focus on one of the things. <sighs> All right. So let's talk about the first two cards that we do have. Nine of Wands with the Two of Cups. This is where the internal struggle comes into. Uh, because throughout the week, you're gonna start feeling very, very good from something. Uh, again, if it is a relationship, that would be that you're gonna feel good because of the love you're going to experience. If it is about career, most likely from the attitude of the colleagues that you are going to experience. The problem is that it does not correlate with your experience, past experience. So everything is going to scream within you based on the past experience that that's the wrong person or that's the wrong thing that it is happening, okay? Or it's wrong to be in a, such a behavior with, with the colleagues around, or it's wrong not to stand for yourself, or, or whatever makes you feel good, your past experience is going to scream, it's wrong. And uh, you will have to pretty much put a lot, mighty, mighty efforts uh, into your will in order to push back that um, let these lessons that you have learned and um, because those lessons are, are true okay the lessons that you have learned are true uh, they can be incorporated in your life but not into this situation this is situation which is happening to you regardless if it is career or regardless if it is within a relationship all boundaries needs to drop off especially if we're talking about relationship and love i mean don't don't judge your new suitor based on an old suitor you have uh, you had i'm sorry um in terms of career is almost the same thing. I mean, don't judge your new job based on the poignant experience you had with your old job or with your old project and so on and so forth. You have to pretty much put your shyness, your uh, presumptions, your um, not predispositions, but um, suspicious as well, and your pride somewhere else 
instead of into this enterprise which is about to happen to you throughout the week but it's going to be once again a lovely one and it's going to involve other people you are not going to be alone in it by a large margin that's why uh, the two of cups is more associated with uh, with love than with a career unfoldment but as a general reading it could relate to, to career unfoldment as well and uh, if that's the case you are going to have an amazing week where you know amazing week in sense of where you are working for everybody is going to pretty much be in a good terms with everybody around as well uh, but all in all, uh, this is uh, this is the topic in general. Whatever, uh, whatever kind of like be, being thrown at you from the universe, and you start loving it, don't resist it because that is going to be your initial. How can I say initial response to it to resist it? Other than that, um, should it be about relationship? Uh, with the person that is gonna appear or the person that you are with okay uh, it seems that at least for the time due of the week you are going to be very very good match and um, uh, you will feel the need the necessity to to be closer and closer with one another uh, to, to pretty much have more intimacy out there uh, to, to be to feel each other for a longer period of time and uh, some people may find it suffocating and that is again dictated by old experiences so the old experience that you do or or the other person does kind of like compare the new thing which is happening with the old that did not brought anything beneficial it's the problem here and it is the elephant in the room in regards to this reading aside from that uh, we do have the challenge that you are to overcome here and that, that, that there is one word with this one and that is to believe that it is real yes it's happening yes it's yours that is your love that is your uh, uh, project that is your job in general and uh, for that reason you have to leave the presumption aside for that reason you need to believe that it has nothing to do with past experiences you know um i am not like uh, very active in dating in general but every time when i do decide to, to date a woman I, I, the, the very second sentence is that I have been hurt so much so I don't trust anybody anymore or, or it's kind of like now I have a, a hard time putting trust into something into somebody and it seems that I'm, I'm always the first one after you know she is uh, she's done with putting her trust into something uh, and it's kind of annoying so you ladies don't say that it, it pretty much kills everything I, you, you may think it but just don't say it it kills everything I'm telling you so um, and that's it that is what I am talking about just don't presume the new guy or the new woman with the old ones for uh, judgment here as a challenge it is uh, as I said to believe that it is happening that this new thing either a love or a good project but most likely is going to be love once again um, it's a brand new light uh, it's something you never experienced before for judgment it, it kind of like separates the unnecessary from the necessary it kind of like gives you your thing it is your call a cue that you need to answer uh, it's going to be silent for everybody else so most likely nobody is going to see the uh the potential of, uh, of what you are about to have unless you decide not to give it a go for at the end of the day here with the two of cups if you can't observe the card the two people are touching each other in the middle everybody needs to do their part everybody needs to walk the distance just halfway through the distance to, to meet the other at the middle so you do your part they do their part regardless if it's going to be about career or relationship most likely relationship though it's two of cups in general and uh, things are going to happen uh, something combined here something or a third thing which is the relationship itself happens which is symbolized here with the lion and the snakes and, and so on and so forth
So in this particular case, don't play that game of a cat, uh, mouse, cat and mouse, I'm sorry, or the game be I am hard to get for it's not going to play for your benefit, if I may say it that way. So moving next, uh, we do have the uh, gifts and the blessings that you get to enjoy. That is the sun card. And that is the gift of the, uh, of the natural unfoldment here. And uh, today I was thinking about because in the daily reading today that I made for my Facebook page, um, it, it comes that you shouldn't go with the natural unfoldment. You sh you, no, you, yeah, you shouldn't go with the natural unfoldment, but instead you should go with the traditional unfoldment. And there is a difference in between the natural and in between the traditional. And I will give that example uh, in a very trivial situation. Say uh, you are a woman and you like the guy, some kind of a guy you just met, you know, and you. you you, you like the guy, the guy likes you as well and asks you out, you go out. So what is the traditional unfoldment? You go out, you have a nice time. After that, you know, you um, kind of like start texting each other, start calling each other, start, start getting, um, how can I say, um, closer one another to, to one another, start to getting to know each other better. That is the traditional unfoldment. But the natural unfoldment is you just go on a date and go natural about it. Just do what, where the date leads you to. It may lead you to the bed, you know, but the traditional unfoldment doesn't lead you there if it is your first date. If you want to kind of like have a, that relationship, well, it may happen without it as well, but the tradition says that you have to first get to know the person better, build up trust in them, and, and they have to build trust in you, and so on and so forth. But here you have to go with the natural unfoldment, and that is the gift and the blessing. Everything will unfold naturally from you. Other than that, uh, the gift of uh, the sun is obviously happiness, and through that happiness, and that happiness is, is kind of like genuine, because uh, as I said, you're not going to be alone in this and other person or people are going to make you happy. And you may ask yourself why? Well, because when they see you happy, they are happy as well. And that's why either this is going to be a love or a, 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 how can I say, an, an intimate partnership or a business partnership is going to be a beautiful partnership because there will be no presumptions, there will be no premeditation, there will be no surreptitious intentions. That it is just is going to be pure and genuine, and uh, whatever forms they are out of two people, it has a tremendous expanding energies of growth. So it can grow for a long run, uh, but it's not granted. Okay, you have to actually work for it, and the very first step you do, or the very first two steps you do, don't presume that is going to happen just as it was before with different type of individuals and believe that it is real. Moving next, that is uh, the how people see you or how the other person sees you, uh, the business partner or the lover. And we do have the two of ones here. So with the two of ones, they actually see you as a uh, good accomplishment. Okay, they, they see you as, uh, as a person that they need it. And uh, it may seem a little bit of a I don't know how to say it in English, these type of people that are taking you as a challenge, but in a very, very good way. Like they thought uh, they're not good enough to catch your impression, for example, or to catch your, uh, your eye on them. And now when they have it, because they're gonna have it, so now when they have it, they are going to be determined to do everything to, to the best of their abilities to even improve it further. So at least for throughout the week, you can expect that should you meet the suitor, well, you are going to meet, meet the suitor if you are single, but you may not pay attention to them. That's why it's important to believe that it is real, okay? So <clears throat> when you meet your suitor here, if you are single, or uh, when your um, intimate partner wants to be closer and closer to you, or your business partner wants to initiate new project, you know, or somebody approach you for business, Give it a go. It's your thing. It's your thing, according to the cards. For they will try 
genuinely to do um, to do things in a such a way to improve the situation, to improve you for your success and your happiness is going to be their happiness. So moving next, um, <clears throat> we do have the three of swords and this is the obstacle which is going to hold you back. And uh, it pretty much repeats what I said from the previous cards, but in the but the first three cards are pretty much combined with the three of swords into this position. So three of swords here plays the role of the negative thoughts that you may have that relates with the future. These are those negative thoughts that making your heart break. Uh, for example, um, if your child was taken away from you, okay, and you can't do anything about those negative thoughts being torturing yourself so that you can't do anything about. Uh, and uh, allowing those thoughts to twist and tangle through your mind is just gonna make you feel, and not just only feel, but as well be lost in the situation, not knowing what to do. That is gonna cause crisis. That crisis is gonna put your back against the wall. And uh, no matter how much you do try to make steps forward to develop either the relationship that it is about to happen, which again is going to be a beautiful thing, or the partnership, the business partnership that is about to happen, which is going to be a lucrative thing, um, you are going to make one step forward, two backwards. So you should not allow negative thoughts to twist and tangle your mind, nor they should dictate what your steps are going to be. Okay. So that's with the uh, that's with the three of swords, and also uh, we do have some kind of a mental cruelty here. It's always accompanied with the three of swords. Someone with a harsh tongue, uh, and uh, it's going to be premeditated. It's it's like. These people that are giving you bad treatment, treatment, I'm sorry, through words, they're doing it intentionally. Don't let that thing to get to you. It's very important because otherwise it's gonna throw you off balance and um, the only thing that it ha it's happening should it throw, throws you off balance is that you're losing something. Uh, it may be a small thing, but still you are losing something. Don't give them the pleasure to see you weak by any means. So moving next, we do have the um, positive aspects of the week that are going to help you move forward and uh, push forward. Uh, we do have the five of wands and there are a few of those uh, positive aspects. Now, first thing, it is that the week is going to be very unpredictable in a good meaning and in a good sense. Um, meaning that situations to push your things forward are going to arise whenever you're expecting it the less. <clears throat> so with that being said, you shouldn't, how can I say, um, give up that easily, if I may say it that way, because even in the very last moment at 11, at 11 p.m., you can reverse the course of events and instead of being down in the dumps, you can end up in the upper hand in the upper hand in term of uh, in term of love or in term of career another thing with the five of uh, with the five of wands is that they're going they're going to be a lot of around turns one day um, you may be uh, for example if you are uh, a part of a dating app and i'm saying dating app because right now we are under lockdown most for the most part and people don't meet each other but say you kind of like sign up for a dating app and you try to get to talk with somebody, nobody, nobody pays attention to you today, tomorrow that dating app may kind of like blow your phone from a messages. So a lot of sudden around turns here, it is what we do have that, that are going to work into, uh, into your benefit. And the last and the most beautiful thing about the five of wands is that things can happen in so many different ways. So should you be uh, start dating with somebody uh, and you don't like you know something in a way they do date you can definitely suggest something different it's going to be discussed it's going to be negotiated uh, if you will and, gen and generally with this card into this position you can always find your way okay you can always find a way to make the things work here 
um, as for as long as you are not giving up and for as long as you believe into that things can work. Again, the belief, it is the most important thing that you should have, the most important virtue that, should, that you should have throughout the week in order to allow the things to happen to you. And the last one is uh, the guidance the Tarot is offering. That is the Wheel of Fortune and it's just give yourself to it completely is what I can say here with, uh, with that guidance. That thing happens, that thing. Okay, with the Wheel of Fortune happens once in life. You can have similar things, maybe better, maybe worse, but that such kind of a thing happens once in life and happens to you throughout this week. So, uh, yeah, you should definitely explore it. You may not like it, but you should definitely explore, explore it just for the sake of seeing what you don't like, if you will. Uh, but according to Wheel of Fortune, this happening that we do have here, either a business partnership or most likely a, a, a love partnership, um, it will change your life for the better and is once in a lifetime opportunity according to the guidance of the Wheel of Fortune. So that being said, Taurus, uh, this was your uh, weekly general tarot reading. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it, guys, and uh, we are to see each other next time. Until then. Bye.